This is a brief video for the Chapter 4 Spreadsheet Activity. Here is the basic structure of the spreadsheet. Now this is just of course a demo, so you can structure it any which way you would like as long as it has requirements within it. First we're going to format the title. Select A1 through E2. Click Merge and Center. And then select Middle Align. Next we're going to click on Cell Styles. And we're going to want to select the Title Cell Style. Now we will need to resize the columns since you're unable to view the information in row 3. So select columns A through E and then double click the right hand line and it will perform an auto fit. Next we will apply shading for cells A3 through E3. Select the cells, click on a shading button arrow, choose the color of your choice, Now you will need to go to speedtest.net to begin to collect your data. Select the location. Now you have the results that must be entered into your spreadsheet. Now we need to format the columns before entering the data. Select column A, right click, choose format cells. This column will be a date and time format. Now you will need to configure column B, C, and D with the number format. Here is an example. Here is the sample data from speedtest.net. I added some additional data to the table. Now I'd like to format it with borders. Select the cells you'd like to format. Click the borders button arrow. Choose all borders. Next select cell A3 through E3 and click the center button. Here is an example of the data. Keep in mind you should have at least 15 data points. To create a chart, you will need to select the date and time column and the upload and download columns. You can select multiple columns at one time by holding down the control key. Once the data is selected, click the insert tab, select recommended charts, Here you will notice a preview of all your different options. I will be choosing the scattered with straight lines and markers. You will need to reposition the chart underneath the data by simply dragging it. To name the chart, just double click on the chart title area, enter required name. You can change the horizontal axis by selecting it. 
Next, click the alignment button. Select your chosen alignment. Next, we're going to change the alignment of the legend. If you need to, you can always change the chart type. Right click on a chart, select change chart type, select the chart type that you would like to change it to. I will be selecting one of the line chart type styles. The outcome of your spreadsheet should look similar to mine. Keep in mind you can choose your own custom chart type and formatting style when it comes to the table. Please contact me if you have any questions pertaining to this assignment. Have a great day.